I've been in ministry for more years than I want to admit. <laughs> uh, but my last church that I was pastoring, I had a, a, a chaplain who worked with Hospice of Palm, of Palm Beaches. And she knew of my heart for visiting the sick and visiting the hospitals and visiting the hospice patients and uh, the nursing homes and such. And she said, have you ever thought about chaplaincy? And I said, no, no, I haven't really thought about it. And in my denomination, we are required to have continued education every year and submit you know, to that we are continuing to expand our, our knowledge and our skills. And so I approached my district superintendent and I asked and said, could I take an internship as a, an, an CPE, which is clinical pastoral education? Uh, and he said, sure, that's more than enough for credits for what's required and recommended that I do so. And when I took the course, uh, I was doing it as an intern uh, and I was pastoring my church and then one Two days a week, I'd go and do ministry as with hospice, so doing visiting hospice patients, and really felt this is where a love and a, a connection has always been in my ministry is that one on one ministering to those in time of crisis. And so I continued on, took, uh, as I mentioned earlier, my wife always encourages me to expand myself, and she found a program for residency, which I ended up taking. And I went to Phoenix and my wife stayed here. And we commuted and Skyped and all that throughout that year. And I thought, oh, my year's over, I'll get to go back home and be with my wife. So I found another uh, fellowship in chaplaincy in Baltimore. I said, well, I don't know about that. And she said, well, it's Johns Hopkins. I said, well, maybe. And she convinced me to go and I did a fellowship at Johns Hopkins, which was uh, dealing with uh, organ donation and working with families who were considering uh, at this stage of a tragedy to be there to support them so that they can make a decision without being forced or being coerced into donating. And just to be there during that critical time was a tremendous opportunity. So, and as Kathy and Debbie has said, it is a, a passion that I have for ministering to people in times of crisis. Mm -hmm.